Hello, welcome to yet another glorious Enigmas of the Ancient World video. Today we're going to take a look at uh, some interesting stuff around the Second Pyramid. And we're going to start with the molten granite. That's uh, just a close-up on that uh, little stone at the, the top. It's actually about the size of two grand pianos. Um, anyway, uh, one of the things you will notice at the Second Pyramid, um, if you spend enough time around it, especially if you spend time with someone like Yusuf, is there appears to be uh, molten or hardened molten granite uh, in channels throughout the causeway leading down from uh, the second pyramid towards the back of the Sphinx. And, you know, it's, it's granite. Uh, the edge of the limestone is clearly burned in a lot of the places, and it's quite substantial. There's a lot of it, and it runs quite a long distance um, down from the pyramid. So you can you can follow this around, and um, you just keep finding more of it. As well as camel dung. Anyway, you can see the path of it comes right down uh, the causeway, pretty much from the from the Sac pyramid. And uh, when you follow this up, uh, it actually comes to um, to a, a spot uh, next to the mortuary temple there. And, uh, or between the mortuary temple and the, the boat pit. And underneath the uh, fitted slabs, bedrock carved slabs there, you can see all this stone has been burned, is reddened and uh, transformed. And so that brings us back to the north side of the pyramid. And these uh, paving stones are enormous. And what we're actually looking at here is one long, one large, we're walking the perimeter of one block. And this is these are blocks that have been cut out of the surrounding bedrock of this pyramid. In fact, this entire area has been cut out of the bedrock and leveled, and then they have put down bedrock paving stones. And I'll show you some more of that in a second. First, let's look at this rock. This is a limestone block that appears to have molten granite uh, through a channel uh, in it. And as Yusuf is pointing out there, this stone is so many different colors, it looks like it's really been subjected to a pretty heavy heat event. But that is definitely molten granite inside a channel in a limestone block. A little further over, there's this area, which is really charred. Uh, some of that is uh, granite, and uh, some of that is limestone. It's and it's just burned. I, you know, over history, when does this happen? I don't know. But the I found the the channels of molten granite really interesting. And I also found this really interesting because here we are by the, the second pyramid still. And uh, this is, you know, what it appears to be you're walking on the bedrock up there, but, and it is bedrock. It's just bedrock that's been removed from somewhere else and massive blocks placed three high at least. Maybe there's another layer underneath this. I don't know. Uh, at least three high to form, you know, the, the platform that the second pyramid is is built on and it is connected there is a bedrock core or mound to to that pyramid just like the great pyramid and uh, i don't know if you saw dr zahi was in the news recently uh talking about how the pyramids were actually really easy to build and didn't take very long because um actually there's not very many blocks in them because they're all uh bedrock 
and he's crazy, but also um, look at how much bedrock here. That is the the original level is the top of that bedrock wall is the original level of the ground here. And that has all been removed and a lot of it turned into uh, platform blocks to build this pyramid on top of. Um, so how long does that even take before you start building the pyramid? And there must have been a very important reason to build the pyramid in exactly that spot, or they could have built it up on top of that higher level with much less, you know, pre-work. Um, so here, this is just a, another perspective of uh, the height uh, that they, or the depth that they came down into the bedrock to clear a level surface. And to be clear, not all of this platform, it's all, you know, bedrock. Not all of it is made out of cut pieces. Some of it is the natural bedrock that they made flat enough. But a, a massive portion of it are cut pieces stacked three deep to, you know, make a, a square uh, surface. And if you're eagle-eyed, you will notice some hieroglyphs there. That and one other little place around the corner are the only hieroglyphs pretty much on the whole site and uh, it's the name of Mai. I think Mai was his name if I recall. He was the quarry master when Giza was a quarry being used by locals taking stone away from the pyramids to build their own houses and stuff. Okay, uh, that's the end of this short video. Uh, if you're interested in seeing any of these uh, sites and discussing any of this uh, with other like-minded people and Yusuf and myself, I have a tour coming up uh, February of 2020. And special permissions uh, set up for that tour. Uh, access to sites usually closed or off limits or partially off limits. Underneath the Step Pyramid, for example, or inside the Assyrian or the Asyra Shaft or Abra Wash. Uh, a lot of these uh, are sites that no one else is going to take you to. So if you'd like to come with some other interesting people, because we're always interesting the people who come on these trips and Yusuf who's a absolutely great tour uh, host uh, and myself uh, check it out have a look at the website uh, see if you can make it happen thanks for watching uh, have a great day